so today we'll be looking at a very simple and a very interesting design pattern which is the null object pattern so let's say there is a factory which only produces wheat and rice flour so this is a flour factory uh, of a kind which we see in India the chakki atta chakki and we ask for bajra flour or maybe so bajra is a crop which is native to Rajasthan or maybe pulse flour so what happens let's see um, so let's look at the classes first so this is uh, an abstract class which is named as base floor okay so uh, let's look at this base floor class it is having a name which is the name of the floor maybe it is having uh, is present method which returns true or false depending on whether the floor is present in your factory or not and last is the get name method uh, which returns this name attribute so this is an abstract class base floor so abstract classes are generally uh, having this prefix of base because they are acting like a base for all the uh, derived classes okay so wheat floor is a class which extends base floor and rice floor is another class which extends this base floor okay so both of them have implement uh, implementations for all these three uh, two methods and this uh, also having their constructors so wheat flow constructor name is name and get name we are returning name is present we are returning true because both of these are present in the uh, floor factory cool so let's look at this third special class which is at the heart of this uh, null object design pattern which is called null floor it also extends the base floor class the base class for our floors so it is having this get name method we return sorry sir or ma'am we don't produce this floor so this null floor uh, takes care of all the cases in which client asks for a floor but we don't have that floor so it's acting like a placeholder for all those uh, kind of floors which are not present in our factory and is present returns, returns false so this is our factory class so for those who have not uh, studied the factory design pattern I request them to look at my factory design pattern uh, video and come back again so that they understand it well so when we ask for an instance of floor that is get floor method so this is a static method so this can be called on floor factory class itself so floor factory dot get floor and we pass the string name so if the user passes wheat we return him uh, or her a wheat floor instance if user asks for rice in the string name we uh, return him or her the rice floor instance and if they ask for uh, anything else we return them this placeholder instance that is the null floor instance and the return type is if you clearly see base floor so it is the base class for each of them so by Liskov substitution principle it can point to any of these three obviously so now let's look at this thing suppose now that client asks for wheat floor so it will say floor factory dot get floor wheat we provide him or her with a wheat floor object similarly for rice floor but if client says this floor factory dot get floor bajra we return a null floor object so this pattern introduces a placeholder for non existent objects so in this case if we don't have this null floor object our floor factory will fail so we don't or maybe 
it will throw an exception or something so we don't want to do that so this placeholder object is introduced for that so if um, let's say our customer asks for a bajra floor we return him a null object which is a placeholder object basically or maybe he or she asks for a pulse floor then also we return them the same null object so whatever uh, objects we don't have we provide them with the null object so this is a client it is having a floor factory uh, instance so it's associated with that and this floor factory is having a creates dependency that is it is creating these floors so basically which are inherited from uh, this base floor class so this is the inheritance sign if you don't know this then please look at my uh, class diagrams videos and these three classes are extended by it so we have wheat floor we have rice floor and we don't have any other floor so if user asks for any other floor we have kept this null floor as a placeholder hope you understand this class diagram also friends uh, thank you so much